everyone, this is Shreya from HealthSpan's research team. Today, we're going to be talking about neurodegenerative disorders, such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. These disorders represent some of the most challenging medical conditions currently in existence. In this video, we will dive into the role that the mTOR pathway plays in neurodegenerative disorders. The mTOR pathway, or mammalian target of rapamycin pathway, is a central component of cellular function. It is involved in processes like cell growth, protein synthesis, and particularly in aging and neurodegeneration. Recently, mTOR has been the target of intense scientific curiosity, with researchers working to understand how this protein can be modulated to combat age-related diseases. In this video, we will discuss some of this research and dive into what role mTOR plays in neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Aging is the primary risk factor for neurodegenerative diseases. If you followed HealthSpan or other scientists' work focused on mTOR, you may know that inhibiting mTOR has been shown to extend lifespan across various models, from yeast to mammals, suggesting that this pathway has a foundational role in aging. In the realm of neurology, this has led to the hypothesis that mTOR could be targeted to combat aging-related neurodegeneration. Think of mTOR as a crucial switch in the brain's machinery. The switch can be turned on and off to regulate processes within the brain. In Alzheimer's disease, mTOR is like a switch that's stuck on on. By constantly remaining on, the mTOR pathway becomes hyperactive. This hyperactivity leads to a cascade of harmful effects in the brain. One of the critical consequences is the release of inflammatory cytokines. These are toxic substances that create a hostile environment in the brain, impairing brain function and accelerating the progression of disease. Simultaneously, this hyperfunctionality of the mTOR pathway also plays a role in the overproduction of tau proteins. In a healthy brain, tau proteins are building blocks that help maintain the structure of neurons. However, in the context of Alzheimer's, there is an excess of tau proteins, and these tau proteins can undergo abnormal changes. This leads to the formation of what we call neurofibrillary tangles. Think of them as knots in the brain. These tangles disrupt the normal function and transport systems within neurons, leading to cell damage and death. Additionally, the mTOR pathway's hyperactivity is linked to the increased production of beta amyloid plaques. Beta amyloid is a protein fragment that, in Alzheimer's, clumps together between neurons, forming plaques. These plaques and neurofibrillary tangles collectively contribute to the characteristic brain damage seen in Alzheimer's disease. The plaques can interfere with neuron-to-neuron -neuron communication, further exacerbating the cognitive decline and memory loss associated with the condition. So we know that mTOR plays a crucial role in neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, but what does this mean for treatment and prevention? There's growing evidence in the field of neuroscience that modulation of the mTOR pathway could be a game changer. This modulation is achieved by using rapamycin, a naturally occurring compound. Rapamycin acts as an mTOR inhibitor, effectively dialing down the overactive mTOR pathway. This has significant implications. By dampening the hyperactivity of mTOR, rapamycin can help reduce the production of harmful proteins, such as beta amyloid and abnormal tau, which are implicated in the progression of these diseases. A study conducted at the University of Texas Health Science Center at San Antonio tested what effects rapamycin has on the brains of mice. The study looked at a control group of mice with Alzheimer's disease pathology. The brains of these mice had high levels of plaques, as seen in this image. Then, the researchers treated the mice with rapamycin. They found that while it did not clear out the plaque, it did prevent further buildup. This suggested that rapamycin could play a role in preventing the buildup of beta amyloid plaques and tau proteins. To test this theory, researchers then treated young mice with no degeneration with rapamycin. They found that these young mice never built up plaque, indicating that rapamycin may have preventative effects 
when it comes to Alzheimer's disease. Now, the story of mTOR doesn't end there. Researchers have found that the mTOR pathway is also deeply involved in how our brain cells handle misfolded proteins, a big problem in many neurodegenerative diseases. Misfolded proteins are a hallmark of many neurodegenerative diseases and their accumulation can lead to cellular dysfunction and death. mTOR helps regulate a process known as autophagy. This is our cell's cleanup process. This regulation is particularly important in diseases like Parkinson's disease, where the accumulation of protein aggregates is a major problem. By modulating mTOR activity, either through pharmacological means like rapamycin or through other interventions, there's potential to enhance autophagy. This can lead to more efficient clearance of misfolded proteins, ultimately helping to protect neurons from damage. In Parkinson's disease, this could mean safeguarding the dopamine-producing neurons, which are crucial for motor control and are typically lost as the disease progresses. And there's still more. mTOR's influence stretches beyond cellular processes and includes broader aspects like cerebral blood flow. Cerebral blood flow is the physiological process by which nutrients and oxygen are delivered to the brain and the process by which waste is removed. In Alzheimer's disease, this blood flow can be significantly impaired, partly due to the accumulation of plaques in the blood vessels. These plaques can narrow or block blood vessels, ultimately reducing blood flow and contributing to the cognitive decline seen in Alzheimer's patients. Here, mTOR inhibitors like rapamycin could offer a dual benefit. By reducing mTOR activity, they could not only promote the clearance of beta amyloid plaques at the cellular level, but could also potentially improve cerebral blood flow. Improved blood flow would ensure better oxygen and nutrient delivery to brain cells and more efficient removal of waste products, which could help alleviate some of the symptoms of Alzheimer's and slow its progression. This further highlights mTOR inhibitors' as potential as therapeutic agents in the fight against neurodegenerative diseases. We've gone over a lot in this video, so let's review the key points. First, mTOR is a crucial regulator in the brain and it plays a key role in neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Second, the dysregulation of the mTOR pathway can lead to the buildup of harmful proteins, which are key in neuronal damage and cognitive decline. And third, this is where mTOR inhibitors come in, like rapamycin. These have shown promise in potentially slowing or even preventing neurodegenerative diseases by preventing the buildup of proteins, enhancing autophagy, and improving brain blood flow. Studies are suggesting that mTOR inhibitors can not only help manage existing symptoms, but could act as a preventative measure, opening the door for new therapeutic prevention and treatment approaches. For more information about mTOR, neurodegenerative diseases, and longevity, take a look at our HealthSpan Science blog at gethealthspan.com. This is Shreya signing off. See you next time.